afternoon, everybody. what is going on? I am Jeff Grant Media, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a one-to-one -one comparison between the Iron and Resin Scout and the Flint and Tinder Wax Trucker Jacket. Now, you can clearly see I am holding both jackets and not wearing one. That's so I don't play favorites while we're doing the shootout between both of these jackets. At the very end, I will definitely tell you my dream jacket, and if I had to pick one, which one of these jackets it would be. But before we get there, we have to compare the jackets side by side. Now, I have worn both of these jackets quite extensively, actually. I've had them both for several months now. I wore each of them. You can see both in the description box down below and at the cards at the end of this video. I have done full real user reviews of each of these, so you can find the RUR links down below or again, the cards at the end of this video. If you wanna check out the full reviews of each of these jackets, they're there for you to check out. But for now, let's get into it. And the very first point that most people would look at is the price. The Iron and Resin Scout comes in at $325 USD, where the Flint and Tinder Wax Trucker comes in at $298 USD. Now for that price point, the Iron and Resin is a foreign made jacket, where the Flint and Tinder is a USA made jacket. Both materials made in New Jersey, and then the jacket is cut, sewn, and assembled in Los Angeles, California. For the canvas weight, the Iron and Resin is a 12 ounce British mill can, and the Flint and Tinder is a seven ounce Mark Texan sailcloth. Now a point of note I should add here is something I've seen in a few other videos where people are mentioning the materials and the specs of the Flint and Tinder jacket. The seven ounce may be prior to being waxed, so it may actually be a little bit heavier, thicker once the wax coating is applied, especially because with the Flint and Tinder, the wax is applied to both sides of the material. It's not just sewn and then waxed on the outside. It's actually waxed prior to being cut and sewn. So it may actually be slightly thicker than seven ounces. Now the Iron and Resin is a type three trucker jacket. What that means is that it has two chest pockets and two belly pockets, where the Flint and Tinder is a type one trucker jacket. And that means it has one chest pocket and two belly pockets. Now, while we're talking about pockets, the iron and resin's belly pockets are lined, where the flint and tinders are unlined. Now, the lined pockets are much more comfortable on the hand, and they feel better when it's a little bit cooler out. When you put your hands inside the belly pockets of the iron and resin, it's a softer material, so it's also gonna keep you a little bit warmer if it's cooler out. When you put your hands inside the flint and tinder jacket, they are unlined, it is just the wax material, so not only is it less comfortable, but if it is cooler out, initially, it's going to be colder when you put your hands in there. So if you're putting your hands in your pockets for warmth, you're not gonna get nearly as much off the bat from the flint and tinder as you would from the iron and resin. The iron and resin also has three interior pockets where the flint and tinder has one inside pocket. For the closure of the jackets, the iron and resin has both a zipper and buttons where the flint and tinder only has buttons. Now for the jacket lining, the iron and resin is blanket lined in the body only where the sleeves are satin lined and it also has a Riza waterproof barrier that is sewn between the liner and the shell of the jacket, where the Flint and Tinder has a blanket lining throughout the jacket, and there is no sort of waterproof barrier inside the jacket at all. As far as weight of the jacket, and I'm not talking about the canvas weight, the iron and resin certainly weighs a lot more than the Flint and Tinder. Now, the jacket material is thicker, and it does have that Riza liner, but the Flint and Tinder is fully blanket lined, which should weigh a little bit more than the satin lining. But the Flint and Tinder definitely weighs much less than the iron and resin jacket. For fit of the jacket, the iron and resin is more of a tailored fit. Now I've had two versions of this jacket, the original version one, mine measured 22 inches pit to pit, where my current version two measures 21 and a quarter inches pit to pit. Now the Flint and Tinder is a boxier, more classic fit. My charcoal Flint and Tinder wax trucker measures 20 and a half inches pit to pit. Now even though the Flint and Tinder is 20 and a half inches pit to pit, which is smaller than the iron and resin, it still fits looser, and that's because it is a more classic, more boxy cut. Now you may have also picked up on the fact that I said my V1 iron and resin was 22 inches, and my V2 iron and resin was 21 and a half inches. That's because generally all jackets, they give you a variance of like one to two inches, or I think they say like three to 5%. That's just because no matter how it's cut, hand cut, machine cut, there's a variance 
granted because it's never going to be exactly the same. So you will see like your size ranges will be like 40, 42, 42, 44, 44, 46, 46, 48. They give you like a one to two inch range of uh, what your chest size would be in letters it, or numbers into the letters. So there's always going to be a bit of a variance. So you can get several jackets, several shirts in the same size, but they may fit slightly different. So if you're in store and you see any of these in store, I would say try a couple of them on. Um, they're not always going to fit identical. And again, that is just about any jacket or any product. Now the iron and resin is offered in four different colors, oil tan, oak brown, charcoal, and black, where the flint and tinder is offered in nine different colors, dark navy, black, light gray, navy, Havana, coal, field tan, forest, and olive. The iron and resin has lined cuffs, a lined collar, and lined pockets. Where the flint and tinder has unlined cuffs, belly pockets are unlined in an unlined collar. And I will say that the unlined cuffs do make a mess out of your watch face, at least when the jacket is brand new and it is still a little bit more wet. So there we have the direct comparisons between the Iron Resin Scout and the Flint and Tinder Wax Trucker Jacket. Now, what would I personally prefer? My dream jacket would be more of the Type 3 style jacket with the lined cuffs, without a zipper, with a seven ounce wax canvas shell, with full blanket lining through the body and sleeves, with a little bit more boxy cut. So yes, my dream jacket is a hybrid between both of these jackets. But if I had to choose one, which one would it be? I would choose the Flint and Tinder Wax Trucker Jacket. I just like this jacket more. I like the overall weight of the jacket, both the weight of the materials and the weight of the actual jacket. It's a little bit lighter. Um, it just wears better, it carries better, it feels better on the body. I like the fact that it's flannel lined throughout the entirety of the sleeves. I know people like the satin lining because if you're wearing a long sleeve shirt, it's your arms will slide in and out of the jacket easier, but I like the comfortability of the flannel lining throughout more than the satin jacket. Um, on a cooler day, when you put your arm inside a flannel lined jacket, it feels better than when you put your arm inside a cool satin lined jacket. I just overall, I like the jacket a lot more. It just feels a little bit better. I feel like it's wearing better on my body. And I like this thing so much, I ended up getting a second one in the field tan. So not only do I have the charcoal, I have it in the field tan because um, I'm a big fan of the TV show, The Last of Us. So how could I not get the field tan Joel colorway? And I did get this one on eBay, so I got this for pretty cheap. I got a really good deal on it. And I am kind of partial to brown or darker tan jackets. Um, if you've seen some of my videos, I do like olive drab backpacks. That's one of my favorite colors. And that goes back to me working in an Army Navy store. So I sold a lot of Army green things. And I sold a ton of Carhartt in the Carhartt duck brown. So I kind of have an affinity for olive drab and tan jackets. It's just my thing. So I couldn't pass it up. Got a great deal. So yeah, I definitely like the flint and tinder better because now I have, I have two of them. I have the charcoal and I have the field tan. And I still wear both of these quite frequently. I kind of like wear each of them for like a week or two, swap out to the other one. So I've been wearing these, uh, the Flint and Tinder um, a lot more than I have been wearing the Iron and Resin uh, lately because it's getting warmer out and um, these are lighter and a lot easier to wear when it's warmer. I feel like the Flint and Tinder has a wider range, a temperature range that I can wear them in where the Iron and Resin being heavier both in weight and heavier in weight that it definitely, I, I get a little warmer and I get a little sweaty if I wear that in the same temperatures where I'm wearing the, um, the Flint and Tinder jackets. But if I had to pick one, definitely I would go with the Flint and Tinder jacket. Either jacket is a pretty good buy, but I definitely say the Flint and Tinder is the better bargain. It's cheaper, it's American made, and it just feels better on the body. So with that, if you like this video or any of my other videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring that bell right next to it so you get notifications the next time I post a brand new video. Good night.